Decatur Mayor Tab Bowling announced his decision on discipline for the four officers involved in the shooting death of Stephen Perkins. He was killed by police on September 29th in an incident surrounding a vehicle repossession. Thank you for joining us for News 19 at 9. I'm Lauren Layton. And I'm Greg Screws. And this was the decision the community had been waiting on for a long time. And after the news conference, which we carried live here on News 19, Decatur Police Chief Todd Pinion released a statement saying, quote, I accompanied the mayor when he visited Mr. Perkins' family to share the news of his determination. I have expressed my sorrow personally to the family of Mr. Perkins as well as publicly in prior messages, but I reiterate that sentiment here. He goes on to say, I have pledged to take action to ensure something like this never happens in Decatur again, and that process has begun in earnest. Now we go to News 19's Daryl Burke in Decatur with more from today's news conference. Daryl. Lauren Gregg, the decision to fire those officers comes after weeks of demands from the public to do so. And this decision uh, by Mayor Tab Bowling has been met with some uh, disagreement. I mean, he did not disclose what led him to that decision, and he also declined to provide the names of those officers involved in the shooting. Now, Bowling says those details are part of personnel records which are protected under Alabama law. We learned that three officers involved in Perkins' death would be fired, and a fourth officer was suspended without pay. But Bowling declined to share how long that suspension would be. Although the names of the officers were not made public, that could change. Bowling says the officers have seven days to appeal his decision to a city personnel board, adding that if appeals are filed, officer names and policy violations would then become public record. Mayor Bowling says the city will begin reevaluating the way it handles situations like this that has rocked the community in Decatur for weeks. The city of Decatur will begin a top to bottom review of its policy, policing policies, practices, and ways to improve, including how we provide information to the public. Taking this important step is one way to improve, grow, and in certain sense, uh, in a certain sense, rebuild public trust. We also heard from Perkins' loved ones along with their family attorney, Cannon Lampert. Lampert says Bowling's refusal to share his reasoning behind the firings was hurtful for the Perkins family. He should explain why he's doing what he's doing. He could let us know whether or not he speaks to, whether or not he believes that these officers should be arrested and prosecuted. Three officers being fired and one being suspended is no comparison to Katrilla losing her husband, me losing my brother, my mom losing her son. That's not justified. Now, the city's handling of the investigation in the case is separate from the Alabama law enforcement agency's ongoing investigation into the deadly shooting. Once completed, those findings from that investigation will be sent to the Morgan County District Attorney's Office, who will then determine if criminal charges are justified. Reporting live in Decatur, Daryl Burke, News 19. Thank you, Daryl. Now to give you a little more backstory as to how we got where we are today. Since Perkins' death on September 29th, community members have continued calling for justice and transparency in this investigation. On November 17th, Decatur Police Chief Todd Pinion reprimanded the officers involved. He said he found reason to believe that policies were violated on November 20th. Mayor Bowling says outside councils reviewing police department's internal investigation. And that same day, Mayor Bowling stated that discipline hearings for the four officers would be held the week of December 4th. On Monday at the city council meeting, many community members were expecting to hear from the mayor regarding the hearings, but the mayor was not in attendance. And today, Mayor Bowling announced the firing of three and the suspension of one. To see more of our reporting surrounding Steve Perkins' death, visit our website, whnt.com.